After Bev Barth moved to Calvert County in 1994, a newspaper advertisement for volunteer advocates caught her eye. Soon, she began training to help women in domestic violence situations. She learned to assist victims by accompanying them to court, visiting them in the emergency room, and helping them get protective orders from their abusive partners. Over the next 24 years, Bev has visited the emergency room countless times to assist victims in the aftermath of an assault, offer them resources, and urge them to get free counseling provided by the Crisis Intervention Center. Bev is on call most weekends and has been there to help on holidays, weekends, early mornings, and late at night. She has recently been sworn in as a court-appointed special advocate, working with foster children, supporting them as they navigate their way through the court system and find permanent homes. In addition to this selfless service, Bev has served with the Calvert County Lions Club for 13 years. If you see a giant lion at the county fair or the Christmas parade in Prince Frederick, it's Bev. Though she recently retired from full-time work, Bev prefers to keep busy during retirement. Her guiding inspiration comes from Shakespeare. The quality of mercy is twice blessed. It blesses him that gives and him that takes. The Southern Pine Senior Center in Lusby offers a wide variety of programs and services for county residents age 50 and up. Barry Briscoe is one of the volunteers at Southern Pines who helps make their experience special. Barry attends and participates in the activities and programs there and has faithfully volunteered countless hours for a number of years. Many times each week, Barry will put on gloves and a hat and serve lunch to seniors who have difficulty walking. When asking to deliver additional items, Barry willingly and cheerfully serves his fellow seniors. He often assists with setting up and cleaning up for senior center programs. Barry moves chairs, tables, and even pianos on occasion. Each month, Barry also prepares a history lecture to share his knowledge and insight. He facilitates this history discussion titled Our History. It takes many hours of study and preparation to deliver the monthly presentation, and Barry performs his volunteer effort superbly. A dedication to Calvert County seniors makes Barry Briscoe one of our beautiful people. The Calvert Marine Museum in Solomons dates back to 1970. Calvert You Are Beautiful nominee Linda Densmore has been a volunteer there for more than 19 years, or more than one-third of the museum's history. In recent years, Linda has come to the museum faithfully every Wednesday morning to volunteer as a docent in the Skates and Rays exhibit. Interpreting the exhibit for visitors has been her passion. She makes sure no question is left unanswered and always ensures visitors have the best experience possible. A few years ago, health issues left Linda unable to drive, but that did not stop her from finding a way to get to the museum every Wednesday to continue her great work. Through good days and bad, she never missed a shift at the museum. Her dedication to the museum and her volunteer work is remarkable. With a recent health setback, Linda has not been able to come to the museum. Her presence is greatly missed but museum staff is confident she will return. Beautiful volunteers are not easily discouraged. To recognize Linda's years of volunteer service, museum staff voted her the 2017 Volunteer of the Year. In honor of the achievement, Linda was presented the Golden Otter Award in March 2018. It is fitting acclaim marking two decades of volunteer service. The Southern Community Center in Lusby is a special place in Southern Calvert County. It is a place where residents can hold classes, conduct meetings, celebrate weddings and other special events, or just enjoy the peaceful community garden. It is a very inviting location in large part because of Lusby resident and volunteer Kevin Franco. 
Kevin takes great care in tending the center's community garden, butterfly garden, and the plants inside the building. His green thumb helps ensure visitors to the community center are greeted by a display of nature's beauty. He also helped install stonework for the walkway in the center's butterfly garden. In addition to his landscaping work, Kevin donates time to assist staff from the Calvert County Department of Parks and Recreation and the County Office on Aging in setting up for various events and activities. Though he works behind the scenes, Kevin's efforts make the experience of community center visitors a little brighter. Each month, the Ladies of Charity Food Pantry in North Beach serve an average of 275 households in Northern Calvert County, representing nearly 600 people. Barbara Glover manages this bounty of benevolence. Barbara welcomes pantry clients with a smile and refreshments while they wait. She guides many helping hand volunteers and is the principal lead on all pantry activities. She orders food and supplies and keeps the pantry clean and well organized. Barbara instituted the practice of giving clients bonus bags filled with personal care items that are not eligible for purchase under the food stamp program. She and her team of more than 40 volunteers also spend much time and effort preparing holiday meals for pantry clients. From July through October, Barbara leads the distribution of fresh farm produce, and in August, manages the provision of backpacks filled with school supplies. To keep these efforts running, she has developed great working relationships with various community service organizations. For her pantry work, Barbara received the Archbishop of Washington's Manifesting the Kingdom Award in 2017. While she approaches pantry work with full-time fervor, Barbara finds time to support Ladies of Charity activities and fundraisers while also volunteering with the Knights of Columbus and the Boy Scouts of America. She is proof that beautiful people are often boundless in their dedication. On the last Saturday in April, more than 900 Christmas in April volunteers set out to repair the houses of selected low-income Calvert County homeowners to assure they can live independently in warmth and safety. Carolyn Moeller may not hammer the nails, but she is the motivating force behind all these repairs. She has a tireless work ethic and offers insightful counsel as chairperson of the Christmas in April House Selection Committee. Carolyn receives and processes more than 115 applications and phone calls throughout the year. She organizes committee members into teams to assess the needs of applicants and prioritize repairs. She then oversees the selection process with the 20-member House Selection Committee. In December, she sends letters to applicants notifying them of their selection for the April workday or their option to apply again next year. Carolyn travels Calvert County roads the last week in April to meet and photograph volunteers working on houses and to interview homeowners. She compiles reports from house captains detailing their work and produces a detailed report enabling the board of directors to evaluate the event. She also uses the report to publish a 16-page illustrated newsletter of the Christmas in April workday. Carolyn Moeller exemplifies neighbor helping neighbor to make Calvert County a better place to live by restoring hope for the neediest of Calvert County. At the age of 16, Ben Springer has amassed a set of experiences rivaling those of someone several times his age. His work with nature programs at Battle Creek Cypress Swamp Nature Center illustrate his passion for animal care. And in just a short time, he has branched out to construction, videography, research monitoring, teaching, and counseling. Ben is a true citizen scientist. 
His research efforts include work with the Prothonotary Warbler Project, which involved building, installing, and monitoring nest boxes. Ben also volunteered for the Maryland Atlas of Reptiles and Amphibians Project. The goal of this five-year study was to survey all of the reptiles and amphibians found in this geographic area. Ben is willing to volunteer in whatever capacity is needed, including park construction and cleanup. He also generously donated his time and video skills to the Hashtag Giving Tuesday fundraising project. Ben's commitment and dedication are true accomplishments for someone his age. He makes the Calvert County Division of Natural Resources Calvert Stewards Program better for being part of it. And that makes Calvert County a better place for all.